Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild today. They finally got to show off the brand new Labrador Retriever and all of the different variations of it, all of the different things that it can do and that type of stuff. And it's looking pretty good. Uh, but before we get into that, I got a little bit of uh, disappointing news that we might as well just get out of the way right now. Jaxie mentioned in this stream that there is no new Great One coming with this update. So... As for when we'll get another great one, it's really hard to say when that's going to be. I have a bad feeling that it's going to be the next time that we get a map, so who knows how long that's going to be since they have not gave us a release date for the brand new map. All we really know is 2024 for the map, and I imagine the great one will probably end up coming along with it like they normally do. They pretty much always release great ones with a brand new map, so I imagine that that's likely going to be the case here too. But the thing about the way that EW makes these updates, they typically go for whatever is the most requested. So this just means that there was more people requesting retrievers than there was a new great one. So hopefully a lot of you will be happy with this update. Hopefully a lot of you will enjoy this DLC. I'll, of course, be making lots of content on it and uh, seeing what we can get done with it, what type of cool things we can do with it, and hopefully we can get some good bird trophies in the process. So there is a few different things that we're going to go over for the brand new Labrador Retriever. The first thing is traits are back, so you will be able to assign traits to your dog. A lot of them are going to be very similar to uh, what the Bloodhound has, aside from a couple of them, like one of them makes it so that your dog can swim faster, because your dog actually can swim, which is going to be really, really amazing. Another trait that they showed off a little bit of is that whenever you fire your weapon, your dog will heal. So that's going to be kind of a nice thing for when you're bird hunting. And instead of having the types of traits that would help you track things down like the Bloodhound would, this Labrador Retriever is going to have stuff that's going to help you fetch things easier. So it's going to have a trait that will allow it to recover arrows for you, which is actually kind of cool. It'll actually go recover arrows for you. And then we've also got one that's going to make it so that it will be able to run farther away to retrieve stuff. There's obviously more types of traits that are going to help it retrieve things better and faster. So a lot of uh, like retrieving oriented perks uh, or not perks, but traits for this dog right here. And the uh, dog efficiency is going to work the exact same with the Labrador Retriever as it did with the Bloodhound. It's going to have the energy meter as well as the focus meter. And obviously you're going to have to make sure you keep both of those uh, higher up in order for it to work to its maximum potential so making sure you give your dog love like giving it treats petting it things like that are going to help your dog work faster and better jaxie also talked about how this dog took a lot more work to make than what a lot of people would understand this is one of those types of updates where it doesn't seem like much on the surface i mean it's a dog it's just one small part of the game but in reality, it takes a immense amount of work. More work than adding all the new species on a brand new map would take. This is a massive undertaking, especially to get the dog to swim in the water and interact with the water the way that it does and to interact with all of the different birds and stuff like that. There's a lot that goes into that stuff that we can't see as a uh, as a consumer that plays the game or even as a content creator like myself that creates uh, content on the game. We just simply can't see the level of detail that goes into creating something like this and apparently this is a massive undertaking like to the level of making a map almost. I gotta say like out of all of the different things this dog can do I think one of the most groundbreaking things is the fact that it can retrieve stuff in the water. It's going to be able to go into the water and grab the birds while they're still floating over to you. So this actually is going to be a massive time saver. There was a lot of people that were wondering like how this was going to make things any faster than just like walking out and grabbing them yourself. There is going to be a pretty uh, substantial increase in the amount of time you can spend hunting and, uh, and taking away from the time that you'd be spending actually running out and grabbing all of the birds because your dog's just going to bring them right to you while you're hunting. You no longer will have to hop out and spook stuff off and run all the way around the water to go grab some of the ducks. Like your dog's going to do all of that for you. And it does seem like it does it very fast. Like it doesn't like slowly walk to you. It sprints back to you with the kill and it swims pretty quickly as well. So I'm very happy to see that it actually is pretty efficient at grabbing all of the birds. Now, obviously, this is going to be one of those things where I'm not going to use it all the time because I'm not going to be bird hunting all the time. But if I'm going for waterfowl, you bet that I'm going to be using this dog. 
I don't know if I'm going to use it for upland birds or for rabbits, but it can recover those as well. And apparently any class one animal can be picked up by this dog, which I think that would include turkeys. So that would be kind of interesting. Now, we talked about this in the last video I did on these retrievers when they first revealed them. There is going to be seven different fur types for the retriever dog, and they all look quite good in game. I got to say the champagne and the uh, silver are probably a couple of my favorites. Uh, the fox red and the uh, black lab and the uh, the chocolate, the uh, the yellow lab and also the fox or not fox red, but the charcoal one. They all look really good. All of them look pretty good, but that champagne and silver, definitely my two favorites out of all of them. Of course, you'll be seeing those in the background as we talk about them right now. Unfortunately, they didn't really get to show off as much as they would have liked to today because of some technical difficulties, if you guys didn't know. Jaxy Beard normally streams from Canada, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, but he's currently in Sweden visiting the team and getting to know them. And so he had to set up something completely new and get used to it. And that's why they had to postpone the stream by a day. And then even today when they did it, there was still a lot of technical difficulties. So it's unfortunate they couldn't get as much done as what they wanted to. But it is what it is at the end of the day. And we got a pretty good look at everything. So overall, I'm happy with what they showed off. They showed us pretty much everything we would want to know about the dog. But as of now, we still know nothing else about what this update is going to bring aside from the dog. So I'm wondering like what type of fixes this will bring, what type of changes it will bring to the game. Are we going to get backfills? We know we're not getting a great one, but are we potentially getting maybe a rework to an old great one? Are we getting more weapon skins? Like what type of stuff is going to come with this update? I hope they talk about that more in the near future. But until then, thank you all so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It does help out a massive amount. And hit that like button and leave a comment as well, letting me know what you guys think of this Labrador Retriever on your, uh, your first impressions after watching all of this footage. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!